Fugitive wanted on several charges in several states is now in custody after a four day manhunt. Hundreds of law enforcement agents ranging from the local level to federal spending hours on end looking for that wanted man out of New York State. That man, 34 year old Michael Burham, was captured in the Francis Marion National Forest in Hugey just after 515 this afternoon. That's where we find our Molly McBride and Molly. How exactly did this search end? Well, Cameron Sheriff Dwayne Lewis tells me they received a 911 call from a home near United Drive about a suspicious person near their shed. That's when multiple agencies arrived on scene. He says Burham was first spotted by a canine tracking team and taken into custody in the woods behind the home. He was in uh, uh, not good shape. He uh, obviously looked like he had been in the woods for some time. Uh, we, we gave him some water down there, try to get him hydrated again while EMS was checking him. Um, he, he blurted out that, you know, he had been on the run and uh, he, he wanted something to drink. Burham was then taken to be questioned by the FBI. Over the last four days, authorities have told us how dangerous of a man Burham is. But now that the search has come to an end, we took a closer look into some of the charges he's facing. Police in Jamestown, New York, have been looking for Burham since May 11th. He has warrants out for his arrest for vehicle fire and rape, with a homicide charge still pending, according to a Jamestown police spokesperson. Our CBS affiliate WSEE in Erie, Pennsylvania, say from there he went to Sheffield, a town 45 minutes south of Jamestown, where he reportedly kidnapped an elderly couple at gunpoint. They were forced to drive him in their vehicle, a 2022 Honda CRV to the area of North Charleston, South Carolina. WSEE says after the over 12 hour drive from Sheffield to North Charleston, Burham dropped the couple in a cemetery, drove away in their car, then ditched it about a mile away. I can't even begin to understand how traumatic and tragic this incident is uh, for not only the victims, but for their family. Our affiliate says Burham now faces dozens more charges from Pennsylvania State Police, including felony kidnapping counts, burglary and terrorist threats of bodily harm. That's on top of the warrants out for his arrest in New York State and a pending homicide charge. And that's why law enforcement officers had all hands on deck when it came to getting Burham behind bars. Unbelievable resources. We used everything we had, um, all available manpower without uh, letting the county go unprotected. Lewis says hundreds of deputies, officers and agents from the low country, state and federal level have put in hundreds of hours into this search. He says the Hugey community can rest easy now that this dangerous man is off the streets. Officials with the FBI say that Burham will now be extradited to New York to face his charges. Reporting in Berkeley County, Molly McBride, Live 5 News.